Hey guys, what's up? It's Alex, back with another video on Alltech. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the iPad 4th generation and how I feel about it. If you will, please drop a big like on it as well as subscribe. Down below, turn on post notifications to so never miss out on a brand new video on the channel. So guys, I think the iPad 4th generation is a great budget-friendly iPad for anyone looking to do schoolwork edit a video here and there, and do any basic task that you can do on any other iPad, I think this is the best iPad out in 2020, and here's why. Let's go over the 2020 iPads, or the iPads that are out in 2020. So we got the iPad mini, we got the iPad 8th generation 10.2 inch, we got the iPad Air, also the 12.9 and 11 inch iPad Pro. I think the iPad Air is the best budget option. Um, it has all the features as the iPad Pro besides just the flash, honestly. The, the only thing different about the iPad Pro is the flash, the flashlight, and that there's um, 128 gigabyte option, I'm pretty sure. And that it takes the H12Z Bionic. So it's the iPad Air is a little bit slower, but no one needs a very fat, like a super fast iPad. Um, it has the Apple Apple Pencil to second generation support. It has the Magic Keyboard support. It it has USB Type C, but oh yeah, and it also doesn't have Face ID, but it has Touch ID in the power button, which I saw on video is just as fast as Face ID. So what's the point of even having a Pro if it's just the same thing as the iPad Air? A lot of people were seeing that this was going to be a thing. A lot of people predicted it. Is because the reason why is because the iPad Air 3 was the same exact shell as the iPad Pro 10.5 inch that came out in like 2016 or 2015, and it only only would make sense that they would reuse the 2018 shell for the 2020 iPad Air. And you guys might think it's just the same thing as the. You guys might think that the iPad Air is just the same thing as the um, as the iPad Pro. It's not. They're two different devices. The iPad Pro is three hundred dollars more, I think, and there's no difference. The Air Four is rocking the A14 chip, as well as the iPad Pro is rocking the A12. You might think that the A14 chip is better, but guys, the A12Z is actually a little bit faster in some cases, and they're just. They seem similar, but guys, they're totally different, especially because you're saving 300 bucks. You can use it with a Magic Keyboard. You can use it with the Magic Keyboard, which I might be buying this iPad, and I'll be doing a review on that. If you guys want to see it, please drop a big like on it as well as subscribe. Down below, turn on post notifications to never miss out on a brand new video on the channel. This is now a tech channel, and that's my thoughts on the iPad Air 4. And I think the iPad Air 4 is the best idea and iPad that Apple's ever made, besides the iPad two and the iPad first gen and the iPad Air first gen. If you enjoyed this video, please drop a big like on it. Expect weekly tech videos on this channel from me and my brother. And yeah, if you guys want to see more videos, please subscribe. And yeah, peace out.